Simon says, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I will show you how to track changes in Excel. Sharing your workbooks with your team may introduce unintended errors or data mishaps in your spreadsheets. To save your precious time and effort from such accidents, Excel has a new Track Changes feature. So, let us now see how to use the Excel Track Changes feature easily. To enable the Track Changes to feature, go to the Review tab and in the Changes group, click on Track Changes and then click on Highlight Changes. In the Highlight Changes window, click on the Track Changes while editing. This also shares your workbook option and click OK. Here you can also specify which user can edit the spreadsheet in the when, who, and the where sections. That's all. You have to enable tracking changes in Excel. Hereafter, Excel will track changes made in the workbook. However, one prerequisite to enable the track changes in Excel is to always save the Excel book beforehand. Sometimes it is advisable to list all changes in a separate sheet for clarity, especially if there are too many changes to track. To do this, save your workbook. Go to the Review option. Click on Track Changes and select Highlight Changes. In the Highlight Changes window, click on the List Changes on a New Sheet option and click OK. Now all your changes will be displayed in a separate sheet. The changes made in a workbook are not final as long as the tracking mode is enabled. You have to review them and either accept or reject these changes. To do this, go to Review, under the Track Changes option, and click on Accept, Reject, Changes. In the Select Changes to be Accepted or Rejected window, you can specify which changes you want to review. Enter the inputs into the When, who and where boxes and click OK. When accepts specific dates or statuses like not yet reviewed. Who accepts specific usernames or everyone. Where accepts a range of cells that you need to review. In the next accept reject changes window, you can accept or reject changes one by one or in one go. If you reject a change, the original value will be restored. If you accept the change, the new value will be finalized and it cannot be undone. Finally, to disable the changes, go to the Review tab and click on Track Changes and Highlight Changes. Uncheck the Track Changes while editing his Also Shares Your Workbook option and click OK. Once you do this, Excel will no longer display the blue colored highlights and will stop tracking changes made in the workbook. That is all everyone. Implement this technique before you share it with your team members and avoid errors. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.